guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a wonderful day. I wanted to come in here and share with you all my vacation haul. We did, while we were on vacation, go to a couple different cosmetic stores. We went to Ulta and we went to the Cosmetic CCO, which is really, really awesome. I love going there because you can find some fantastic, fantastic deals on some high-end products. So let's start with what I found at Ulta. Let's save the best for last, right? Okay, so the first thing I purchased, actually it's two of these, and there's trash in there, nice. I purchased two of these little um, everyday active headband things. I got these because I like to use these when I work out. I think they work really, really well in my hair, and they feel nice and comfortable, so I did purchase two of these. That's not a makeup item, but they had them in Ulta, and I really liked them. The next thing I purchased is a mask. It's the Animal Panda Mask. It's the Brightening Sheet Mask. Um, this is by S&P. So the packaging looks like that. It's really cute. I've seen this on another YouTuber's channel. Her name is Amy. And I think her channel name is Amy Makeup by Amy Michelle, maybe. I'll have to link that below. But anyway, she did this mask, and it was super adorable. And so I wanted to try it out because I thought it was so cute. So I want to try it out. The next thing I purchased is something I already used because I wanted to try it out to see how good it was. It's the Laura Geller Baked Liquid Radiance Foundation. I got this. It was on sale for $20 and I thought it looked very interesting. I did get it in light. I think that's what I got. And actually, I think their shades were in a, maybe a little darker or maybe I'm not quite as dark as I thought I was because the light actually worked out great for me. So... I'm loving this so far. I really am enjoying it, and I was glad to pick it up on sale. The next item are some blushes. And let me get them all out of here. <laughs> also was having a sale where you could get five items for $10 of their, it was like blushes and certain things that you could get for five, five of them for 10 bucks. So I did pick up a couple blushes. I picked up Afterglow, looks like that. Let me open it so you can see it. I haven't opened some of these. Some of these I've tried and some of them I didn't. So let's get this open here. So Afterglow looks just like this. It's actually a really pretty peachy color. And I'll do a little swatch for you. And there's what it looks like. And on my hand, it's just a really, really light peach color. I really like it because I thought that it was nice and springy. It looks like a very nice spring color. So I'm excited to use this. The next one I got is called Flush. And Flush looks like this. It's more of a, um, I don't know, it's like a peach, but it's got a little bit of pink in it. I'll swatch it beside the other one so you can see. And they are a little powdery. So there's the first one, and here's the second one. So I think they look really nice. I can't wait to use these and I'm a blush fanatic so I have, I love collecting blushes and I love blushes so I'm happy to have them. The next thing I got is the Ulta, Ulta Shimmer Blush and it looks like this. It looks like a flower design, it's so cute. So let me swatch that one. And this one's very pale. It almost looks like a highlighter, honestly. I think that's why they call it a shimmer. It probably is a highlighter. I think it is a highlighter. I don't know. I'll test it and try it and see how it works <laughs> and let you know. The next thing I got is another blush and it is called Sunkissed. Let me try to get this one out of the package. And Sunkissed looks like that. So it's a little more of a, a pinker, it looks like a little bit of brown in it, too, honestly. So I'm going to swatch that closer to the front, maybe. This one's not swatching so well. So, yeah, there it is in the front right here. There's the color swatched. So this one looks a little more brown, but it didn't swatch as well, honestly. That one didn't swatch so good. The next thing I got as part of the 5 for 10 deal, I picked up this little thing here. And it's called the Spring Fling Summer Shimmer and blush, not summer and blush. Shimmer and blush. I'm gonna ruin my nails. I always ruin them whenever I'm opening all these packages. 
Oh goodness. So, and it does come with a little brush, but here is what the blush looks like itself. It's really nice. I really like the peach color up in the corner. So I'm gonna swatch all four separately. Maybe. <laughs> so there's all four colors swatched. And then, let's see. Hmm, I'll swatch them up in here. They're very powdery. So there they are swatched. That's what they look like swatched. They look a little shimmery, honestly. They have a lot of shimmer to them. So let's see what it looks like when you swirl them together. And there's the color swirled together. It's really pretty, actually. It's a very, like I said, it looks very springy. They all look like such nice springy colors. So I'm excited to have those, and that was a good deal. Five of them for 10 bucks. I couldn't pass it up. The next thing I got, I got two NYX products. I got the NYX Gotcha Covered Concealer. Uh, it's the waterproof concealer, and I got it in the shade Medium. I got this more for like acne spots and stuff like that. And from what I, when I was swatching these in the store, from what I can tell, I honestly think the NYX Got You Gotcha Covered is a dupe for the uh, It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye. I think they're almost dupes because they feel the same. And when I put them together, like if I swatch them side by side, they felt very, very similar. So I'm thinking they might be a dupe. So let's see what this looks like when I swatch it out here. See, it's a really thick emollient uh, type of product. And then if you rub it in, see it, I mean, it even it acts just like the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye. I'm going to have to get, I don't have that one. I used to have it. I need to get another one and then I'll do a comparison to see if they are alike because if they're alike, that's a big price difference. So it could save you a lot of money. The next thing I got is the NYX Above and Beyond Full Coverage Concealer and I got the shade green because I had that huge thing growing on my face so I needed something green to help cancel out all the redness and I didn't really bring anything with me while we were on vacation to cover it with and this seemed to do the trick. It seemed to really help cover up any redness. Um, I think I have pink mixed in with it now so it's not coming off green, it's coming off pink so but it's because I have blush on my fingers too. But anyway, that's everything that I purchased at Ulta. So let's go into what I purchased at the Cosmetic CCO. And here's the bag. Exciting! So the first thing I picked up was the MAC Face and Body Foundation. And I got the shade C3. So I have tried this while we're on vacation because I wanted to see if it was going to work and if it was the right shade and if not then I would take it back because I don't want to keep it if it's not the right shade. And it is the right shade and it's a very very liquidy foundation. It's got a lot of water. It's a water based foundation I believe. So you can use it all over your face and body but it is waterproof also which makes it to me amazing because you can use it in the summertime and you don't have to worry about some thick makeup on your face. It's going to be nice and thin and it's going to be waterproof so which means sweat proof I would think. I would hope. But I will let you know. But I'm excited to use this more now that it's starting to get warmer outside, so yay! I'm going to set it right here, right there. The next thing I got from MAC is the MAC Fix Plus, uh, and I got the scent Lavender. So I have not tried this before. I had, do have the original MAC Fix Plus, but I really wanted to try the Lavender scent because I've heard so many good things about it. And I can tell you it smells really, really good. It smells just like lavender. It's nice and comforting and relaxing. So if you want a comforting and relaxing uh, facial setting spray, I do recommend this one. I think it's nice. They had some other scents there, and I wish I would have picked up more, but I only got that one, so that's okay. And then the next thing I got is this Bobbi Brown blush, and it was on sale. Besides being in the CCO, it was still on sale. So when you're in the CCOs, be on the lookout because they do have sale items in within the CCO so that you can get an even deeper discount. So I got this blush here by Bobbi Brown. It's Desert Rose 15. And I think I paid like $9 for it. And for a Bobbi Brown blush, that is a fantastic deal. And it's a really pretty color. I'm excited to use this. I'm all swatched up here. Let's see where can I swatch it. Maybe right there so you can see. It's just a really nice neutral color, perfect for everyday wear. So I'm excited to have that and to use it. 
The next thing I got is the Smashbox, and this was on sale too. Anything with the red dot was on sale besides being in the CCO. It was on extra clearance. I got the Smashbox Photo Finish More Than Primer Blemish Control. Uh, so it's a blemish control primer. So, And with me having some acne issues lately, I thought that would be a great idea to get something to help combat that problem. So I have not tried this yet, though, to be honest with you. So I don't know how it works, but I will let you know. The next thing I got is something else that has a little red dot, so it means it was on sale. It is the Max Mineralized Skin Finish in the shade Center of Attention. So when it looks like this, let me get it out. Oh, and I have tried this. This, I will tell you, I like the pink shade here. The pink is really, really nice, but the gold shade is very very like it has a lot of um how do you call it <laughs> it has a lot of like um sparkles or something in it and it's not like this one's very smooth and buttery and this one's not it has a lot of like big thick chunky pieces in it so i don't really like the gold so i technically if i wouldn't have bought it on sale i probably wouldn't have bought it or I would have taken it back. But anytime you buy anything in the CCO and it's on sale, you don't get to take it back. So that's the only problem with buying something that is on clearance in a CCO. You can't return it. But I'm not as happy about that as I thought I'd be. I really do like the pink color. The pink's really, really nice and it's, it's smooth and buttery, but the gold is, no, it's thick and chunky. So mm. the next thing I purchased is something else that had the little red dot and it's the Max, Max, Mac Eyeshadow times four and it's the shade rainy season and I did wear this actually one night while we were on vacation because I wanted to test it out because I thought it was so pretty and it gave myself a really really nice smoky eye with these black this dark gray and these lighter grays it's really really pretty actually and I'm really getting into MAC products lately and I love them I know they're not cruelty free which makes them not a good company but I don't own too many things for them, so sorry. The last item from my CCO purchase is a MAC blush. This was not on sale. This was like the regular CCO price. And it's the shade Mocha. So, and it looks like this. It's supposedly like an every everyday wearable shade. It looks like a little purplish pink to me, honestly. But it feels so nice. Oh, goodness. I love. I'm really loving Max products. So there's. Oh, you can't even see it. Let's do it again. There we go. There it is. There's the shade for the Mac one. It's really, really nice. I like the shade. I think it, again, is like the Bobbi Brown one where it's going to be like an everyday color that I can use and feel comfortable knowing that whatever eye look I use with it is going to go good with it. So that is everything that I purchased on vacation. I hope you guys enjoyed this haul and thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys next time.